We have got a pressing issue in the South Rift, the question of evictions in Mao. Mm -hmm. That is a very serious threat. There was actually a tweet to that effect that said, yes. that said you yes. went there to say the Mao, to, to talk to Raila, to plead with him that Mao evictions should be stopped. We would like him to understand, and we would like every other Kenyan to understand, that, for example, there is, need, there is, there is a lot of misinformation about the Mao question. The Mao, the Mao forest complex has 22 blocks. 21 blocks are national government forest gazetted. Mm -hmm. Number 22 is pure trust land for settlement. Mm -hmm. That is where the people we are talking about live. They don't live in the national government forest. All in, of the, them. in the national government forest, which is 21 blocks, is under KFS. Number 22 is not under KFS. It is not even under the national government. It is Narok County Council from the beginning and then Narok County, uh, county government and that is land for uh, held in trust for settlement all these people you're saying well, yes all this, yes all the of them are talking about yes they are outside you are sure that there's no person living in, in government no one is living in government for us sure are you I, I, I bring you the maps would you like to see the maps so, so the I, i'll maps. bring them no, I, I'll you know you. you know where all these people I live know. nobody was encroaching the forest no these people have not encouraged any forest you are they sure? are simply in <laughs> okay Block number 22, which is not part of the national government forest. Unless Tobiko can show us a new gazette notice where he has gazetted and taken that land back to national government. If he hasn't done that, he's, 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 he's simply practicing impunity. Okay, of course they have their reasons to doing this. I don't know what, reason what, I don't know what kind of information or, they or must tentacles deliver. you have to know that all people live just there but, and uh, but there's, no, but there's, no, there's no one who has encroached the forest. If there, is, if there is any criminal right inside the forest, you can deal with that, go and flash him out. But can you tell me that 60,000 people are in the forest? Can you tell me that national government, whichever it was, issued title deeds to 60,000 people who are in a forest? How, how would a, a title deed get out of the Ministry of Lands? How would the, the DC sign? if it is national government forest, without a gazette notice. That land has not, never been gazetted. It has never been gazetted in the first place. It is simply trust land. It is wooded trust land. All right, we'll see how the government handles this. Of course, you've always been very, very uh, agitated on this issue of Mao uh, forest evictions ever since uh, 2000 and uh, ever, even, before, even before 2013. I yes. remember when you actually walked out of the Orange Democratic Movement Party. When Raila Odinga was then Prime Minister, yes. he was pushing forward with these evictions. Then so we did, what did he tell you? Did he tell then you? Then we disagreed, you disagreed. So did you disagree the other time? Uh, when? Uh, last week when you no, met? No, we went to bring these issues to his, uh, to his no. So did he we agree? also took the same information to the chairman of Kanu. And uh, we are also going to talk to others in government. We live in... We, what we are simply saying is, let there be a discussion on this issue. Can we understand one another? Where is the problem? You and know, who, who caused it? I remember. And then what, the only message we are putting across is don't continue killing our children. I remember. Don't kill our mothers. That's what we are saying. I don't kill our people. Again, I'll ask you, you can respond with the next question. Yes. What Odinga said, Honorable Odinga, after he told him this. Because I remember at the height of this, I was covering that. I was with you, actually, uh, back then at... Uh, Keep Congor. Yes, I remember you were just a small kid. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yes, but you have and now grown. <laughs> <laughs> I remember covering that story. And yes. I remember the height of it, Honorable Raila Odinga once said yeah. that Honorable Isaac Kruto uh, bought massive land from locals and cheated them into buying Mao, and they are suffering because of him. Yes. I remember when you're actually asking, where, where are they, all these people, li how are they living, where are they standing? I remember very well. Yes, I live in a very this small is the same land. This is the same person you're going now to tell him to plead, to plead with. So yes. that this doesn't happen. And he, he accused you of that. And why not? There are so many things that uh, we keep saying. And the world must go on. Even if we disagree with you yesterday, it doesn't mean we'll disagree with it's you not a disagree. It's, it's a grave accusation. It's never permanent. It's a grave accusation. That was a mistake. True. Because uh, that was just, uh, I think that was politicking. Because I have no such land. By the way, I don't have even a single inch in Mao. You talked about, so the Honorable Odinga said he'll support you, or what did he say? No, we discussed, <laughs> and that is enough. He said nothing. We discussed. I have not even told you what, we also discussed with Gideon Moy. I was coming to that. And we are also going to discuss with others tomorrow. If you met the Prime Minister, or former Prime Minister about Mao, you met Honorable Gideon Moy about this issue, Yes. Haven't you seen it fit to meet the president or the deputy about it? We had met the deputy president uh, sometimes early in the year, myself and some members of uh, Chama Jamashinani, and this is one of the issues we discussed at that time.
and uh, we still intend to see him I in the course of these coming weeks. Uh, we also intend to see the president. We intend to see the president, and we also intend to see the other leaders, including we intend to have a talk with the Maasai leaders, because we believe that these matters can be sorted out through discussion, not talking at one another or grandstanding or uh, brewing uh, other issues that could uh, create problems for this country. So we will discuss with all the leaders around. In fact, I remember asking um, the, the government uh, when I was uh, Governor Bomet mm -hmm. that this matter cannot, can be sorted out between the governors of Kericho, yeah. Bomet, Nakuru and Narok and then Office of the President and the Ministry of Environment. If there is land that was wrongly allocated which is an env of environmental concern, uh, we can do the normal thing, compulsory acquisition of that land. Mm -hmm. But you cannot rubbish the fact that the previous governments actually allocated land to these people. The County Council of Narok allocated land to all these people. This was just simply five group ranges. And I want to make a correction there. I saw in, uh, I think, below on your TV that I've said there are 21 blocks. There are 22 blocks. 21 blocks are gazetted government forest. One block is not. And that is the block where people have settled in. That is trust land okay. for Narrow County Council.